Hi hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I uh, just wanted to uh, give an update on this storm. Uh, sorry I'm out of breath and I'm sweating all over the place. I just got done working out, so I just ran up and wanted to make a video as fast as I could before everybody goes to bed. Um, so I really think that people have to take this seriously now. Uh, this is not a storm that we can just kind of laugh off and say, hey, you know, it's going to be a little bit of rain or whatever. This is going to be really the equivalent of a tropical storm for us. They're talking about winds of over 50 miles an hour in Ohio. Now think about that. For a storm to be able to reach all the way to Ohio with those type of winds, that's, that's pretty significant. <clears throat> so uh, what's happening right now is the stronger low that we, some people are calling the parent low. The parent low is um, cutting in from the Midwest. Um, I know Detroit got seven inches of snow today. I think they're getting a little bit more than that. And that's the main storm. But what's happening is that storm's starting to weaken. And there's a storm that's developing uh, off the coast. Now, here's the thing. Where off the coast? Is it going to be off the Delmarva Peninsula? Is it going to be more north of that? That matters because, one, uh, that will have an effect on uh, wind direction how long it takes to get out of our area, how much cold air gets pumped into it. Do we get a change over to snow? Do we stay all rain? Those are things that we have to look at. <clears throat> there are some suggestions that the storm is developing um, in a place that would lend itself more to snow. Um, now, when I'm talking about snow, this is very touchy because if you look at the Weather Channel, they're calling for none maybe a trace, maybe some wet flakes. I've seen other outlets that are calling for three to six inches of snow in I-95. Now, what, what do you do with that? There's so many things that are going into this storm. Uh, where occlusion happens, where a cold front overtakes a warm front, that matters. That's gonna uh, have an effect on how much snow we get, if we get snow. Here are the definites, here's what you need to know. First of all, it's gonna be a tropical system like a tropical system. It's going to be a nor'easter, but it's going to, for all intents and purposes, it is a tropical system as far as wind speed and, and rain. So we're going to get uh, a ton of rain, uh, one to two inches, maybe even more. The wind gusts, uh, uh, the sustained winds along the uh, coastline will probably be 50 to 60, maybe 70, and you could have gusts into hurricane force. Uh, that's 74. Uh, I don't think that Philadelphia itself, I-95, is going to see 74 mile an hour winds, but it's not out of the question. It, it just depends. This is a massive storm, another bomb cyclone. A bomb cyclone simply means that the pressure off the coast is going to drop at least 24 millibars in 24 hours. That's a millibar an hour. Uh, anything beyond that is extremely impressive. Now, if you remember the storm from earlier this winter, the one that didn't get close enough to really blast us with snow, that one, I think it dropped, if I remember right, 50 millibars in 24 hours, which is astonishing. Uh, I think, in fact, that might now be an all-time record. So this one, uh, how could you predict something like that happening again in the same winter? But I can see it dropping 24 millibars in 24 hours. Now, if it goes beyond that, if it approaches 40 uh, or 50, that's that's a problem. That's going to be a massive, massive storm. And the thing here is, if, I, if you remember, I wrote in a post. Sorry about that. I shook the camera. In a post, I wrote that March was going to start out rocking. And this is what I mean. We have a negative NAO. And that's, I'll tell you what, we're, we're cold air away from having a massive blizzard. If we had a little bit more cold air in place, this could have been a, a, a two foot, 30 inch snowstorm, maybe even three feet. And some places will probably get that. I, I could see the uh, the mountains uh, in New York, they, the Catskills and places like that, I could see them getting, uh, you know, 24 to 36 inches. Uh, my advice to you, and what I'm gonna, hopefully be able to do is keep my family home tomorrow. You got to remember that February has been extremely wet. So the ground is saturated and that's going to cause two problems. One, 
flooding. The ground doesn't have a lot more to take. And if we get two inches of rain on top of a saturated ground, that's going to lead to probably moderate flooding. The other thing is you got to remember that the trees are sitting on saturated ground and that ground is weak. I guarantee you, if we have 70 mile hour winds or even 55 mile an hour winds, you are going to see tons of power outages because trees are just going to keep falling and falling and falling. They just can't withstand that kind of um, wind when the ground is so saturated. And unfortunately, I haven't heard anybody talk about that yet. And I think that's an important point to make is that this, if you have big trees, you want to be careful. You don't want to have your car under them or if you... Uh, I know I've done this before with my family. We sometimes sleep in the uh, downstairs area. So if there is a problem, if a tree does hit the house, um, we wouldn't be upstairs and, and maybe that would save us from injury. So that's another thing you might want to think about if you have a lot of large trees. Um, flooding down shore is going to be a problem. It's going to, there's going to be coastal flooding. I'm not sure how bad it's going to be because the wind direction is going to matter. Uh, you know, is it coming from the northeast? Is it going to come straight from the east? That matters because that, if it was straight from the east and piling it up against the coastline, then that would be uh, more in the way of uh, coastal flooding. Um, I honestly don't know about the snow. I really don't. And I, I think anybody who tells you they know for sure, they're, they're you know, they're crazy. You, you can't know. This, this is going to have some surprises. Um... My call right now would be one to three inches of snow. I, I, I Earlier, I didn't think we were going to get any, um, but I think that enough cold air is going to come in. Um, uh, occlusion, where that happens, again, that, that's an issue. Um, there, there's so many factors going into this. But the bottom line is this is not a, a, just a run-of-the-mill storm. This is Sandy-esque. I don't think it's going to be quite as damaging as Sandy along the coastline, but I bet you it's that bad inland because of the higher winds. We might get winds that rival Sandy uh, in the Philadelphia area. So wind damage is going to be an issue. So just be vigilant. <clears throat> Tomorrow I'll have some more posts. Uh, the coastal storm is developing right now, so the transfer is happening. So we'll, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. So um, just stay tuned. I'm going to try to keep you updated as best I can. All right. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon.